The following is a presentation on the Donnie Sports 17 Network. Okay. Do a show called the Donnie Sports Football Show. Okay, that's right. And it's coming Saturday. Very cool. And begins like six weeks of preparation. Like you guys are preparing yeah, for the season. That's right. I'm preparing for the show, for a show, and it's gonna be fun. Good for you. All right, then. Good. All right, we're talking to and this this guy's about his newest new guest and. You know, I think three coaches I talked to already uh, about taking a program from day one, like like you have, and building it up to, to get it uh, going. I mean, and by the way, this is Charlie Parker's uh, coach, new head coach at uh, Florida Atlantic, and he inherits a team that went six and six. Which you know, let's think about. If you step back, not bad, but there's improvement. So when you took over and you look around the football program, what what was the immediate need? What was the immediate improvement that had to be done? Well, I tell you, the first thing that had to be done was these. Some of these players have been through four head coaches since they've been in the program with Howard Schellenberger, uh, Coach Polini, Ryan Wright as an interim, and then myself coming in as the fourth, all in a very quick period. So the first thing we need to build was some trust, some guidelines, and some pillars of what we are as a program. Some, some be a belief system. So that's the first phase. The second phase is what do we need from a, a, a facility standpoint, a, a things that we need to teach. We need a new video system. We got that new video system. We need to upgrade our nutrition supplementation. So we got after that. And then we worked through the phases, recruiting. We knew we were going to attack the state of Florida. That's uh, where I was born and raised and have recruited my career. Uh, and I hired a coaching staff with that in mind. So recruiting the spring ball to off season. Now we're getting ready for camp. All right, then. Now you come from Wisconsin. And, uh, Wisconsin, uh, well, that's, big, that's Big Ten. And, and on that staff, while you were there, you went to... Uh, Two, three Rose Bowl games, and yep. and uh, to establish a good winning tradition. How's that success that you uh, got in Wisconsin? You want to apply it here? Is it the same type of ball that you learned up there? You know, uh, implement uh, down here in uh, in uh, Florida? Well, I'll tell you what. The uh, the thing that I learned from there, from my time with Barry Alvarez, is you need to build your program based on what you can recruit to. Uh -huh. The amazing thing about the state of Wisconsin is, in general. Men there are very, very big. So you have a chance to build a program around very big linemen. Yeah. Um, the thing about the state of Florida is people there are very, very fast. Yeah. So it's going to be a different style for us in terms of offensive style. Yeah. Defensive philosophy will be very similar, uh, but from an offensive standpoint, it will, it will be strikingly different from what we did at Wisconsin. That's right. You mentioned that our offensive line in uh, Wisconsin, and they're very big. Yes. And uh, we, Dallas Cowboys got one of them. Yeah, they do. Travis Frederick. Frederick. 
to that's do that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Looking at your schedule to begin the year. Ooh, wow. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to a bit flip the page, but uh, you start off talking about murder. Uh, Nebraska, you know a little bit about. And then you go to Alabama. And then you got Tulsa and, and Wisconsin. Uh, not Wisconsin, but Wyoming. That's three out of four on the road. How you, is your team ready to handle all those uh, road games? I mean, three out of four to begin the season. That, like, the difficulty is kind of right up there. Well, you know, to be honest with you, our kids have been through a lot of adversity. We're continuing to put them in adverse situations so that uh, an away game, a challenge on the road, uh, it's something they are prepared for. Uh, we'll get crowd noise going right away in practice, and, and quite honestly, our kids are not going to look ahead. We need to have our kids focus on getting better every day, yeah. and when we get to that game, don't beat ourselves, and then at the end of the game, if we don't beat ourselves, we'll be in a position to have success. All right, and what players we should keep our eye on? Alec, the two young men that are here, Alex DeLeon, a senior tight end, Andre Kirk, uh, our Mike linebacker, two tremendous leaders, uh, Brandon Bryant and Trayvon Coley at D-Tackle are two young men I'm very excited about. Our entire, our entire secondary, our kids that can play at the highest level of college football, uh, highlighted by Dijon Smith, who's a Thorpe Award candidate. Um, on the offensive side, Quez Johnson returns as a, as a newcomer of the year in the conference, so I'm excited about him. And then we've got several wide receivers that we're excited about starting with Jensen Stoshack, Stoshack and Lucky Whitehead. Well, so you mentioned about the challenges that you have ahead, and I think the one uh, word that popped in my mind is stability. You're going to get this uh, program stable, and once you got that, I think everything else will flow nicely. Yeah, I think so. I'm excited to be there, excited to be home. Coach Partridge, thank you for being on our Dynasty Thank Sports you football. very much. All nice right, Jim. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. <laughs>